So hello everybody. So I've been afraid of this moment because I'm gonna review this book. Because I promised to make a book review of this book. I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping and I did like it. It was good literature and I don't want any of this to affect on your decision of buying this book because it has some good things and some bad things. And I received this book for an honest review, so yeah, here I am, and I'm gonna do an honest review on Captain Hawk by C.J. Garland. First of all, this is a historical fiction novel. I normally don't read historical fiction, so it sounded like a cool historical fiction about the ocean, about pirates, and about ghost ships. This book takes place in Singapore in 1823. This book has two main characters, one is Nathaniel and one is Charlotte. And Nathaniel goes to Singapore because it's gonna be Christmas. He goes to Singapore to spend it with his father and his father died. And that was told like in the beginning of the novel. His father died because his ship went down. He was a worker in the East Indian company and there was this ghost ship in the ocean that has been tearing these ships into the ocean and sinking them very deep. So here we have Nathaniel Hawk and his father is Captain Hawk, a very famous captain. And Nathaniel is forced with a decision to pursue his father's legacy and go back into the ocean and find the mysteries of this ghost ship and find the truth about his father's unexpected death. And we also have Charlotte and Charlotte's father is the owner of multiple ships that has gone down in the ocean that has sank and his family is very wealthy so the ships are going down and his family starts losing capital they start losing their money they're starting to lose in profit and things are bad for Charlotte but Charlotte in the past kind of had a romance with Nathaniel and it's kind of this weird love triangle because Charlotte is supposed to get married with this other man very soon and yeah it sounds so interesting the story and I can say that it definitely was an interesting story but my main problem problem with this was that it has some historical information and I know it's a historical fiction but sometimes that historical information and the way it was told it made things kind of complicated. I mean the narration between two characters perspectives I normally like that and really enjoy when a novel has dual perspective narration sometimes it was too slow there were many slow parts in this novel that I was like come on where is the action where is this really going so I felt that this book really represented the era lifestyle you know pirates the East Indian Company, Singapore, and it really did a great representation on the era. But the narration sometimes was too long and too slow. That was like my main problem with this one. So it's indeed a good story, and the writing style was okay, but the, but it was too slow at times. But the word choices were fine, the way it was played was okay, but the narration was too slow. So in the end, I believe I gave this book a 2 out of five star it's a good book if you are into historical fiction i think you will be okay with this one and yeah those are my thoughts on captain hawk those are my personal honest opinions didn't quite enjoy it as i was hoping but i can see that this is great literature and the author is really going somewhere in her writing career <laughs> yeah blame it on me blame it on me because I'm not into historical fictions, apparently. Blame it on me. Apparently, I'm not into historical fictions, apparently. This apparently is going to be a trilogy, apparently. Blame it on me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, these honest opinions that I said. So goodbye.